Hello and welcome back. In today's lecture, we will discuss some common phrases for daily usage. We will cover the phrases for greetings, polite requests, expressing gratitude, apologize, asking for information, making small talk, expressing agreement, expressing disagreement, offering help, and few words. Let's discuss the one by one. The first one is for greetings. There are various phrases we can use for greetings. For example, good morning, how did you sleep? This is a common and friendly way to start the day by acknowledging the time and showing genuine interest in the other person's well-being. The next one is Hello Joe, it's a great to see you. This is a warm and welcoming greeting expressing happiness at encountering the person. Next one, Hi, how's your day going so far? This is also a casual way to inquire about someone's day and initiate conversation. The next phrase for greeting is, Hey, what's up? This is also a common phrase and it is an informal greeting asking about the current situation or any updates. Next one is expressions for polite requests. The first expression is, Could you please pass the salt my way? I appreciate it. This is a polite request for assistance, coupled with gratitude to show consideration. Would you mind helping me out for a moment? I could use a hand. This is also a good expression for polite request. It is a courteous way to seek assistance, acknowledging the other person's potential effort. Can I borrow your pen for a second, if that's okay? This is a politely asking for permission before borrowing something. Means you can ask or you can uh, catching permission from someone and it is a very polite request. And next phrases are related to expressing gratitude. The first expression is, thank you so much for your assistance. It means a lot. This is an expression used to express deep appreciation for someone's help. Next phrase is, I wanted to express my gratitude for your thoughtful gift. It is used to convey Thanks for a received gift and acknowledging the thought behind it. Thanks a bunch for your help. I really appreciate it. It is also a useful phrase for expressing gratitude. And it is informally expressing thanks with a touch of enthusiasm. Next phrases are related to apologies. The first phrase is, I'm sorry for any confusion, let me clarify. It means offering an apology while expressing a willingness to clear up any misunderstandings. Next phrase is, my apologies for running a bit late. Traffic was unexpected. Here it is a phrase used for apologizing for a delay and providing a brief explanation. I didn't mean to offend you. I hope you understand. This is also a phrase which offer an apology and expressing our desire for understanding. The next phrases are related to asking for information. The first phrase is 
excuse me could you tell me where the nearest restroom is please it is a politely seeking information about the location of a facility next phrase is do you happen to know what time the next bus arrives it is used to ask information about public transportation schedules could you give me directions to the train station i seem to be a bit lost it is a phrase used for requesting guidance when lost Next is making small talk. So in this we will cover some phrases used for making small talks. First one is how was your day? Anything exciting happen? It is a use that is a small talk used to initiate a conversation by asking about the other person's day and inviting them to share their thoughts. The next phrase is What do you enjoy doing in your free time? I'm always looking for a new hobbies. It means getting to know someone better by asking about their interests means it's a general way to start conversation. Have you seen any good movies or read any interesting books lately? I'm looking for recommendations. Here it is also a usual way to start a conversation about shared interests and seeking recommendations so next phrases are related to expressing agreement the first phrase is absolutely that makes perfect sense so it is a expression which shows or all heartily agreeing with someone's statement Next is I couldn't agree more. You have got a great point. Here it is a strong agreement and acknowledging the other person's insightful perspective. The next phrase is exactly my thoughts exactly. Confirming that your thoughts align completely with the others. persons mean you are agree with the thought of other person next phrases are related to expressing disagree when you are disagree with the other persons so what are the phrases we can use first one is i see where you are coming from but i have a slightly different perspective They are acknowledging understanding of the other person's viewpoint while introducing an alternative opinion. Okay. I respectfully disagree. Here's why. Here, this is also our expression when you are disagreeing politely and offering reasons for a different stance. I'm not so sure about that. Have you considered? or it is also expressing uncertainty and suggesting an alternative perspective for consideration next phrases are related to offering help the first one is is there anything i can do to assist you today this is a expression used to offer general assistance and expressing our willingness to help Do you need any help with that task? I am happy to pitch in. Where it is an expression when you offering specific assistance for a task that the other person is engaged in. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you. I am here to help. Here it is expression used for extending a general offer of help and support. So next phrases are related to farewells. Goodbye, take care, and have a great day. It is a good phrase used for farewells, wishing someone well as they depart, expressing care and positivity. 
See you later. Looking forward to our next conversation. Here, this is a sentence used to indicate anticipation for future interactions and maintaining a positive tone. Take care of yourself until we meet again. It is also a formal expression expressing concern for the other person's well-being and wishing farewell with a sense of future connection. So these are some expressions or phrases you can use in your everyday conversation. Thank you. Thank you for watching.